Hey guys, Dr. Sean here. I thought I'd have a little fun with you today. You know, I was going through and I was working on a case and I'm going through the integrated urinalysis panel and you guys have heard me talk about this from time to time. It's that IUP that we run in the office, right? Because urine is such a great test. It tells you what the body's holding on to and what it's throwing away. And it's really nice to know, hey, when I'm putting things in, are they helping me or are they not? And there's so many fads out there, right? There's all kinds of dietary things and stuff out there. You know, check your vitamins, check your minerals, do this, do that. Are they accurate? It's questionable, right? And so there's a lot of people jumping into that market right now. But there's one thing that holds true. The IUP has been around a very long time. I personally have been involved with running well over quarter million of these in my 20 years in career here. And I've helped thousands of doctors all over the country work with this. So I'm really familiar with it. So I thought, you know, as I was going through this case, something stuck out in my head. Why don't we talk about the seven signs, seven major signs, if you got an unhealthy gut? Because that's what it all, it's all about, right? It's about this unhealthy gut. So I thought oh, this would be kind of fun. So number one, upset stomach. Guys, if you have an upset stomach, something's wrong inside. Now, if it's for one minute, hey, we went out last night, we overate, we overdid it, you know what you did. But if this is something that's happening, gosh, I get my belly gets upset two, three times a week, it's always all the time, I get bloating, I get gas, I get distension, my stools are all kind of crazy. Guess what? You have an unhealthy gut. And that's just the first one we're looking for. Now our second one down is a high sugar diet. Guys, unfortunately, high sugar diets feed the bad bacteria in your belly. And it can bloat you, it can distend you, it makes you fatigued and tired and forgetful. You get mood swings that go with it. They go up and down, high highs and low lows, right? You can get lethargic and forgetful and depressed, or you can get irritable and anxious and wanna get fighting and fidgety. Right, that's all tied to this. When you see it, if you have those symptoms, I'm describing you, you got an unhealthy gut. That's how it works. Now how about unintentional weight gain or loss? We don't see this a lot of people, right? You don't think about this. So you mean if my weight goes up for no reason, something's wrong in my belly? Good chance there is. What if it goes down for no reason? Something could be wrong in your belly. So if you notice, gosh, I've been putting weight on all of a sudden, I can't figure it out, and your doctor, well, it's your hormones. Eh, not so fast. Where do the ingredients that make your hormones come from? You gotta eat them, now swallow them down. You don't just magically make these things. You don't sit there and wish and rub your hands together and hope you get nothing, right? You gotta put the raw materials in, and the body will start to build up that gut. So we've gone through our belly gets upset, We've gone through our high sugar diet. Now we're looking at unintentional weight changes up or down. Well, that brings us to number four on the list, sleep disruption, right? Your sleep gets off, it gets chaotic. You can't fall asleep at night or you fall asleep, but you can't stay there. You're waking up at two, three, four in the morning and you wake up in the morning feeling tired and groggy, right? And maybe you're doing melatonin, maybe you're doing Lanesto, the little butterfly, or whatever that thing is out there, or maybe you got Ambien or something else like that, but the whole point of it is it's not right. Now it's okay to take those things short term to help yourself, but they don't fix it. So how would you know? How would you know if you need to do this? Well, I'm telling you the symptoms, how do you find out? That's where that IUP comes back in, right? Now the next one, number five, skin irritations. Probably the one people don't link to the gut nearly as much as we should. Skin irritations. So think about that, what is that? Eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis, weird little rashes that show up for no reason. Now you could have gotten into poison ivy, that's possible. You could have rubbed up against something, you gotta contact dermatitis. But all these chronic things, your psoriasis conditions, that eczema that just doesn't go away, go back to the belly. Go right back into that belly and start looking, because if you don't, you're gonna get other problems. Number six on the list is probably the one that's getting the most attention lately, autoimmune disorders. There are very few, if any, autoimmune disorders that are not directly tied to your gut. All right, what does that mean then? Crohn's, colitis, celiacs, IBS, cancers in many cases, Hashimoto's, Graves' disease, lupus. If you're out there and you've got these things and you're battling them and you're using meds and things to help control and manage them, 
Maybe it's time to look for why they're there. That's what you do. The final one, the seventh sign on here, if your gut is unhappy and unhealthy, are food intolerances. Now think back, what does that mean? That means I drink dairy and oh, I'm in trouble, I better near, be near a bathroom, right? Wheat, gluten, anything you put in that bloats you. If you drink a glass of wine, and it's a food intolerance. If you're sitting there walking around with your food baby, an hour after you eat, you know, whoa, I didn't do well with that. What's, you know, what if it's good food? That's when it really gets tricky. What if you eat salads and lettuce and things like that? And you're like, gosh, I'm a great healthy eater. And my belly is always in trouble. Right? I'm always bloated. I don't understand why. This is what we do about it. Food allergies, food sensitivities. You run an IUP. It's an integrated urinalysis panel. It's a panel telling you how the body absorbs its nutrients digests those nutrients, breaks them down, and then gets rid of the waste. If you can't get it out or get it in, it's really hard to make this all run right. That's how it works. It's something fun. I was just sitting here working and I thought, you know, I should share this. That's all I got. Guys, take care. I'm Dr. Sean McCaffrey. I'm the Robin Hood of Healthcare. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.